uh, not to get off track, I was talking about like Kanye West. And I feel like as much as I love Kanye West, he was like, he was um, irresponsible rapper. with his platform by saying slavery was a choice. As much as I love him. I just, oh, that's, yeah, that's I just, one of my favorite things he said. Can I tell you why? Go ahead, man. Okay. Every, this is a, I talk with this about my students, right? Just like that. Some people might not agree with that Hitler line I say, where Hitler actually hated something mm -hmm. and made a dress. We should all hate something in a good way, like how Hitler did and using it for a good thing. Mm -hmm. But Kanye was actually, slavery, Harriet Tubman even said, Frederick Douglass said slavery was a choice as well. She didn't say that. No, bro. Did she you, said, I would have saved way more if slaves if they knew they were slaves. What is, what is, what does that, that mean? That don't know What that. does that mean? Oh my God. Doesn't that mean it's a choice? No, bro. Doesn't that mean it's a choice? Okay, cool. I don't care. Bro, poverty's a choice. Slavery is a choice. Uh, bro, it's a mindset thing, bro. No, when it's Frederick not, Douglass bro. did say slavery is a choice. Okay, bro. It's Even not a their, mindset their, thing. Their actions show that slavery is a choice. It's not a mindset thing. Bro, this Harriet, that's ignorant. Why do you think that's why do you think that's ignorant? Bro, I honestly feel like poverty is a choice. All of these things that people go through is a choice. Not I'm but it's not a choice. What's not a choice is what other people do to to you going against what they feel like you need to do. For example, if Harriet Tubman took a huge risk, her action showed that slavery was a choice, did it not? Her actions. Wait, did her actions show that she had a choice to be a slave or not? Be honest. No. Her action, what was her actions? Bro, she decided, but she was one of the ones. She made a choice. Say she that, made a choice. Yeah, she made a choice to, to do what she did. To, to, what to, did she do? To save to save a no, lot no. of slaves. Even right? if you take out what she did for other people, mm -hmm. she made what a choice. did she do for herself? She made a choice to do what? To not to be a slave. Not be a slave. <laughs> what I'm saying is. Was it, did she make that she had a choice? Yes, what I'm saying is, though, to say slavery is a choice, to say poverty is a choice, to say all of that, bro, and somebody that came from being homeless. It was my choice. This is the part that's hurtful, and I feel so bad for our culture, bro. Everything was my fault. Okay. It wasn't my family's fault. Me being homeless was not anybody's fault. It was my choice to do that. It All was right. my choice. It was my actions. It was my irresponsibility. Why do you feel like it was your, your, your fault? Because I was the one that made the choice. Nobody put a gun in my head. And Okay, let me, let me go like this. You know the movie called John Q? Mm -hmm. That's an amazing movie, right? Mm -hmm. I actually had a realization two days ago after doing a thinking about that movie, I was like, wow. This man went inside of a hospital and held the hospital at gunpoint to get help his son mm -hmm. because he made bad choices. He went to a job. He didn't make good choices enough to get a degree. He didn't say he probably spent his money the wrong way. He probably went, instead of investing his money, he probably went on every anniversary trip, bought a whole bunch of Christmas gifts with his kids when he probably couldn't afford it. He did all this stuff with his money, made all these bad decisions, and had a child without really being able to afford a child. And when something bad happened to that child, he went inside that hospital <laughs> and made other people suffer for his accumulation of bad choices. This is what I feel like with our culture. We glorify toxicity. Mm -hmm. We do. It's crazy, bro. He, if you really look at can you agree that that's basically what happened in that movie? No. What happened in that movie? Bro, I don't remember the movie right offhand, but I know he probably couldn't afford. Why couldn't he shit. afford it? But that don't mean because he made bad decisions, bro. I Are couldn't you? afford things because of my bad choices. Okay, bro. Bro, if bro, that so was... you gotta. So you gonna tell me you come up here? Yes. With a, I, I love you to death, bro. I love you too. But you sound crazy, bro. Bro, it's my like no. Tell this, me what you disagree with. This is dumb. Everything. <laughs> tell you come up here. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. You come up here, right? Yes. Promoting cancer awareness, right? Okay. Your aunt, your, your aunt passed away of cancer, right? Uh huh. That's like me saying your aunt had cancer and she couldn't get the right uh, procedures because your family didn't make choices to save enough money mm -mm. to save her. That's different. I don't see. Look, this is a thing. I okay. This is okay. I had a conversation with a client that actually said they don't want to be rich. Okay. I did mm -hmm. have a, with one of my student, not client, student. Mm -hmm. I broke it down to her. Myron Golden actually talks about this as well. You know who Myron Golden if is? If y'all had enough money, because no, y'all saved y'all. Wait, 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 no. Steve Jobs had billions of dollars and he died from cancer. That's, okay. not, that's not what I'm talking about. Okay. If my aunt was to blame someone else for, that would be crazy, right? But one thing about my aunt when she was battling that, she didn't blame nobody. She didn't say, why me? She didn't do any of that, right? So what I'm saying is but this, But was bro. that her choice to have cancer? No, that was not her choice. Okay. That's, but that's out of her control. And, and you don't then, think poverty is out no, of some people's control? Listen, listen, bro. When, when certain people that I had around me was telling me, Trail, focus on your credit. Stop buying, stop playing video games. Start reading books. Stop hanging around these type of people. 
invest in this, do this, go to school, do this, do that. I had a child at 20 years old. Wait, mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest. Go ahead. I had a child when I was 19, 20 years old. Right. Horrible decision. Right. I didn't have any financial literacy because of what I chose to be entertained by. I wanted to have fun. I wanted to go out. I wanted to smoke weed. I wanted to, bro, those are my choices that caused me to suffer when I was 27. Okay, bro. I'm just being, whose fault is that? What I'm saying I'm is, not blaming because, the economy. again, no, no, I'm not blaming the, account, the economy, but what we're not going to do is come, like, for this show, I'm t- I'm, I'm taking up for these ones, right? Not saying, what, what, what the one thing that you said, mm-hmm. you said that somebody, they they, they told you to, to get your credit right. They mm-hmm. told you to, uh, I didn't do it. They told you to, so guess what? You was introduced to information. So then after, once you, at, once you was introduced to the information, then you had a choice to not, to, to either go take the information and do something with it or not do anything with it. When yes. we're talking about slavery, they didn't have information, bro. They, like these people were born into slaves. Like we, these people was, they, they were taken on a boat, on a ship and captured and, and, and said, yo, I own you. That ain't no, what do you mean? That's a okay, choice. No, okay. hold up, hold yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. How are you saying that's a choice? You, you had a choice because you gave, somebody gave you information, right? Now, when we go back to 19 or 18, you might not have known better. So if anything, your your parents had a choice to to, to 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 give you the right knowledge. They didn't. You know what I'm saying? So I would never put that on you because you made a you made a decision. Yeah, you made a mistake, but you had to learn from it. Once you learned, once you had the, the child, right, and you saw what came with it. Now down the line, you had a, de- a, a decision or a choice to make a, a, a better decision. The, the first time, 18, no, we talking about poverty people. I, I grew up in the projects. Me that too. wasn't a decision I made for myself. My mom's that was something that I had to learn from my mom's. And when I and, I, and, I, and that's why I, it's frustrating to hear you say this because it's young guy, it's young kids out there. We got to be careful we talking to because I was one of them kids that mm-hmm. was coming up and people was, used to tease me for my mom's being on drugs and I fought and I I I, I got held back twice. Right from a youngin, I didn't know any better. But the moment I I started to understand that my mo- my mom's decisions ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. Yeah, I'm in the projects and I live the, uh, in the projects, but I'm not of the projects. This is isn't who I am. Mm-hmm. So to say that I had a choice, no. Once you are introduced to the right n- information, then you have a choice. But the just to put to say to and I love gay. I like that's one of my ask my wife ask. That's one of my biggest people. But to say slavery was a choice is a misuse, a misuse of your platform and it's whack. And so you don't think, okay, from see the one thing about me, I look at everything in different perspective and lenses. There is a person, like I said, we, we went through that. You answered it. We sometimes actions are more powerful. This is why I like to move by actions a lot more than words. Because, like I said, if Harriet Tubman out of her mouth just said slavery is a choice, y'all tripping, mm-hmm. how many people she would have people would have been offended by her. But her actions alone showed that slavery is a choice. Her actions showed that. You just said that her actions showed that she chose not to be a slave. It was a choice for her because she was able to get yes. some information along the line. We, we, but we can't. Yes. That's why when I'm going to coaching, right? And I say I got to stop doing this because, because I have the knowledge don't mean everybody in the world got the knowledge, right? So think about it. I can interview, like, put it in layman's terms because we can understand this, right? Mm-hmm. I interview... Uh, DJ Drama, uh, T.I., uh, Mario, whoever, right? Mm-hmm. So for me, it's like, yeah, that ain't nothing. But I can't take away from how somebody who who loved DJ Drama might feel, right? I say to say, like, because I'm introduced to this lifestyle. I'm int- I have friends that 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 know about coaching, that know about credit. So mm-hmm. I can say, yeah, as a choice because it's me. Same with Harriet Tubman. She might have been talking to, we can't take, like, you have to take science class. They say you can't compare um, projects if the variables change. So we don't know who who she was introduced to, right? She might have been. She might have had a conversation with somebody who didn't, who, who gave her some game to understand that she didn't have to be in slavery, or she was willing to, to die for her freedom. That's understandable. But we can't say that for everybody just because it's, it's it's true for you. Don't mean it's true for all. And that's like I don't like. That's why it's, I'm getting excited about it because it's like, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, no, like I would never. And that's the same for people in poverty. That's the same for you. That's the same for me. That's like the same for the Bible, right? We, like, I feel like God, he judges the, the ones that know better, like more, like more, more, more than the people that don't know. That's right there. But even in the Bible, it says this. This is, see, I pay, you know, me and you locked in a church. So yeah, this we, in the we Bible, got, yeah. that, in the Bible, it actually says there will always be the poor among you. Mm. But it doesn't say that everybody has to be poor. Mm. I, I okay, this is the thing, bro. I definitely was blessed by God with a gift of resilience and a thirst for knowledge. And I get okay. Yeah. That is definitely and you deserve a gift. your flowers for that. You know what I'm saying? Like I never ever was okay with being ignorant or stupid or like being cool. I was never, that was always, I was always a nerd. I was always, but I always embraced it. But what I'm telling you from my observation as a grown man, I have seen people pray. For a job, and not put the job application in. Not facts. 100%. And then say 
God did it mean for me to have that job. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, I'm just talking about adults. Kids, I know, but for example, when my son didn't see me for a year, that wasn't his choice. Mm. I care more about the people that actually have the options. God gives everybody a choice. That's like somebody saying, I didn't have a choice to read. Bro, everybody has a choice, whether you accept it or not. God only gives us two things to control. You said it earlier. You said that you don't really try to get too emotional about things that you can't control. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't understand that. But what you can control is how you react to things and your decision making. That's the only thing we can control. I can control what you do, what other people do, what they got going on. But that doesn't mean the choices change. So bro. guess what, though? I had to learn that, though. Yes. I'm, so if I didn't, yeah. so if I never, that's like uh, like some, it's, this conversation, is it can go f f infinity because what happened is like some people believe in common sense. Some people believe that common sense isn't so common. Yeah. What I mean by that is for me, I had to learn that. So we what, we put a, a gap or we put a, a we, we draw a line at when I'm supposed to learn it. No, but I just feel like there's, I'm talking about more of adults. Kids, I grew up in the projects. I was homeless. I was poor. I I, got, I was in foster care. I've been through a lot. But bullying, what's an suicide. adult, though? So as a, the, somebody this, that gets, gets, no, gets arrested no, and that's no. locked up for 20 years, they is, still... But why did you get locked up? Because of a choice. Okay. Bro, bro, I'm not, bro, I'm be, I've been to jail before because of a choice. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm, I get I'm, it. I, I get what you're saying. It's cool. Even in the Bible, bro, ignorance is not excused. Ignorance is not excused. You're either going to heaven or hell. We already know that. Yeah, but also in the Bible, we, it's, it's grace and grace is real because what yes. we believe in, if you want to get into it, right, mm -hmm. what we believe in, that happened because, why? We wanted to, because we wanted to be stupid and we got kicked no, out of heaven. No, not even that. I'm what talking about what we really believe in, right? Uh -huh. we, what we talking about is that happened to teach people the truth, right? Facts. That happened yes. again to teach people the truth mm -hmm. because we understand that the truth was lost. Exactly. So if the truth was lost, right? He had to come to, 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 to show us the truth, right? Mm -hmm. Same with life. You telling me that, yo, the truth can get lost. If, 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 if God can say, nah, I need my people to know the truth because it was lost, why can't me and you do that? But sometimes it's not it ain't that. ain't no but. Sometimes it's not that it's lost. Sometimes people <laughs> just are in, entertained by what they like. That's the thing too. That's the th I, bro, yeah, there's that's, people. Yeah, that's the thing too. Th that's the I biggest. Won't, I won't. I won't there fight we that. go. That's but most, all I'm saying is that's two why, can wait, wait, be that's true. Why, but that's why only two percent of the world live a certain way. Mm. That's why, because the things that, okay, this is how I look at it. The things that average people stumble over, are the things that successful people use as hurdles. Mm. For example, yeah, I'm with that. I'm sickness. That. I got Crohn's disease. That didn't stop me. I've been suicidal. I've been men through mental health homes. I've been through a lot. I, I'm a by any means type of person. Right, but that, that everybody's that, not like that. Right, and I'm saying, I'm just saying two. But it's true. a choice. All I'm saying is just, but like, who are you to sit up here and say I got Crohn's disease, right? Mm -hmm. So I had a choice. So everybody that got Crohn's disease, if you don't get up and do what I did, then the hell with you. No, that's not that's not what I said. That's basically but no, no, what no, you're no. saying. But this is what man. I'm saying. Wait, like, this, this is wait, wait. Hear me <laughs> out. Hear me out for a second. I love this. This is fun, bro. This, I told you this you was crazy. You say judgmental wait, wait, as wait, hell. Wait, wait, wait. Watch this. You know, actually, I hear this a lot when. So neat. No, no, look not, at not, mirror, not, not about not about me, nah, but I hear up. every I hear a lot of people, even with Myron Golden. They think Myron Golden. Myron Golden said it. He said people say he, all he cares about is money. Everybody's not you, Myron Golden. Everybody's not you. Got bro. When you get into this coach, because people are going to start, you're going to start coaching people on how to build a successful podcast. You're going to have students, bro, that think that you're so special. Mm -hmm. And everybody's not like you, Jay. No, it's not a Jay thing. It's a, if you want to be a successful person thing. I'm, I'm with There's that. principles, I'm, so that's I what I'm saying. I believe that, 100%. So I'm what I'm you. saying is, bro, most, this is why I feel, this is why I don't agree with the coaches that are doing all these coaches and these courses because they're selling people information by marketing them Lamborghinis, marketing them these lifestyle, hitting these pain points because these people are in a desperate mindset. So, yeah, you showing them that they can make all this money, they can get these cars, they can get this. Bro, and then they get into your program, they don't even got the 90, they don't even got the 2% type of mindset to even succeed in your program, but you sold them that. I don't move like that. I'm That's why I tell every single person that I get, we are going to work on your mindset so you can actually retain the information and execute the information. That's a fact, though. I get that. So that's what I'm saying. Because I know that even though I do feel like everybody has a choice, I still feel like everybody has a choice with some parts of your life. But... I also know that most people are going to pick the wrong choice. That's, For example, okay, cool, I'm with that. If I got water and soda here, most people are going to look at the benefit of how good that soda going to taste more than all oh, the water don't really got a benefit when it really got the best benefit. Mm. It's easier to pick what makes you feel good. Facts. It's not about everybody don't got a choice. People are comfortable, and I don't also with slavery. Slavery That's, is slavery is not a okay right right now. 
They just turned the word from slave to employee. They didn't have the word employee back then. Everybody was a slave. It was only kings, queens, the royal family, and everybody under them was a slave. The only thing that's wrong with the black people, with our culture, is what they did to the slaves. Bro, even slavery is in the Bible. Mm. Slavery was not this evil act. It's not. Everybody, they just, that's the word they chose to use. But now we use the word employee. It's the same thing. It's how they offer you benefits. It's still all trash. So what I'm saying, it's all about perspective and how deep you want to go. When I hear the people hang on, black people hang on to the word slave. Everybody was a slave at one point in time. They're, everybody in the world was slaves if you weren't the top of the... Yeah, so but what happens is the word itself, I understand what you're saying. I, I don't have that much information on that, so I can't really speak to that. That's why I speak the way I do, because of the information. That's only why. Cool. Yeah. What I'm saying is from what I see in my experience, I would, I would again, I don't, I'm not 100%. I'm not qualified to have this conversation. It seems like it would, if just logically thinking, it makes sense that we take that word to be negative because of what came with it, not before it. And if 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 it was no slavery and um, what whipping us with with with, with, with mm -hmm. switches it's and all, crazy. if that didn't happen, then maybe we would look at the word slavery as just an employee. Maybe we would, yeah. but because that happened and it happened for so long, we only see slavery as that, even mm -hmm. if it was another word. And I understand that. Like for example, me and my um, fiance talking about prenup, right? I feel mm -hmm. like. In our culture, on the social, uh, from, that from, from our circle, from I'm not even gonna say our culture. From our circle, all we see is prenup being bad. However, if you get outside of your circle, then that's you understand it's really just a contract. So all I'm saying is because that's what we saw, we only saw it that mm -hmm. way. What you expect people to think? We, they're going to look at it as negative. You can't just walk around and say slavery just changed the employee. Tell it to a black person when that when our ancestors went through hell, literally in in fire and burnt yeah, yeah. in the in a, in, in, in the basement of ships. You ain't about to just say, oh, it's just a, no. But even the fact that we understand now that actually that was a, a, a transaction as well with black people that did that to black people. So it's almost, that's why I hate that that's something that we blame our circumstances on. I just get tired of people using these things as a crutch, as a cripple, as a handicap. And I Thanks. wonder, I'm going to be honest with you, the people that I see complain about the 40 acres in a mill and how bad slavery was and all this stuff, bro, they don't be getting no money. Mm. I'm being honest with you. That's just me being real. Even people people that say, God don't want me. I hate when I hear people say stupid stuff like this. If God wanted me to be rich, I'd be rich. Bro, what? You got to get up. Bro, even people say, somebody, what did somebody tell me the other, not too, like a couple months ago, um, it was about and what the hell was they talking about God and money? But you know, it makes sense when they talk about God and money, like God wants you to be poor. No. Or they say, all you got to do is believe in Jesus and you go to heaven. Mm. All you got to do is believe in Jesus. I asked the person, this is so funny. I wish I recorded this. I said, what's the most viable thing on earth to somebody that's not trying to, that's not focused on God? Becoming rich, right? Can you just believe you're going to be rich and be rich? Isn't heaven more viable than being rich? Mm. So you telling me that you can believe in Jesus and go to heaven and not put no work in and just go to heaven, but you can't do that to something that's less viable on earth. You can't just believe in Jesus and go to heaven. You can't just believe you're going to be rich and be rich. You got to put work in. And that's the, that's why it sucks with the spiritual part, because if that was the case, right after that scripture where it says, believe that Jesus died for our sins, Savior, and all that, right after that, it says, faith without works is dead. Mm. Then it also says after that, if you don't keep my commands, you don't love me. Mm. Then after that, it also says so many people are going to say, didn't I prophesy? Didn't I do this in your name? And God is going to say away from me. I never knew you. Mm. So people, I've realized that 98 percent of people believe that all you have to do is wish, dream, hope. And you're going to be if God wants it for you, you're going to have it. No, I understand. When they told me when I, when they actually said when my aunt died from cancer, this is a very traumatic experience. I remember at the funeral, they said God called her home. I said, no, humans are the ones that are putting cancer on this earth. Humans are the ones that's messing up the water, the food, the supply, the economy. Everything is our fault. Don't blame that on God. That's actually how people end up not, bro, somebody getting shot in the head. You telling me God said, oh, this person's going to get shot in the head. On No, we're doing this to each other. God gave us all of this to see what we're going to do with it. And then when things go bad, we blame God. Mm. When we get millions of dollars and start... I know millionaires that sell dope that say thanks to God. Mm. Rappers get on stage and they thank God. Thank God don't care about this rap music. We're, that's what I'm saying, bro. All of this stuff, bro, it don't be adding up to me. That's why I actually stay away from it. 